on Scorpio Gang Gang Gang. Hope all is well with everybody. To my Scorpio kisses. I love, love, love the fuck out of you guys. We go together real, real bad. No cap. That's just what it is. To my returning OG subscribers, what's popping? What's good? To my newest subscribe, welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you for allowing the channel to continue to grow. We appreciate that shit. This is a Scorpio affair. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, north node. Anyway, you got Scorpio placements in your chart. Grab your boo, your hookah, your blunt, your spliff, your tea, your coffee, your H2O, whatever it takes. Scorpio to stay tapped into these energies like we always do around about this time. You should see an ad, let it play for a minute or so, so your girl can get all the credit from YouTube. Get like a personal reading with me. Currently running a $22.22 special. I cut the readings in half for you guys, all right? Cash App, PayPal only. After you make your donation, email me, all right? Tell all you rock stars who follow the algorithm and you donate to the channel, leave kind words of encouragement. I love you guys so much. I'm sending you all the love and light your heart can hold and your energy can match. All right, Scorpio. You're telling me to keep shuffling. Let's get into this message. All right, thank you, Source. I'm getting the energy of light. Somebody feeling trapped. <clears throat> Messages. Wasting your time and being dishonest with the truth. Wasting time on frivolous activities and other people. Mm, what else? Yeah, I'm getting like somebody, you, you feeling trapped, Scorpio? Because this person wasting your time. It says they playing poker and playing you, yeah. Mm, okay. I see what's going on. What else? 2.22 on the clock, on the timer. Looking and feeling good. People are finding you attractive. Someone wants no strings attached type of relationship. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I'm getting. Like some somebody feel trapped and somebody just like, all a lot they just want a no string type so you want a commitment scorpio with somebody is what i'm getting and they they but i feel like this person play mind games with you i feel like this person all they although they might not come out and say you know i got plans on getting married or whatever your aspirations are scorpio this is the type of person that'll just leave that open like if I don't talk about it, then maybe it won't come up type shit, okay? And I feel like you're feeling trapped now. You're feeling... Because I feel like other people are paying you attention. I feel like for some of you Scorpios, this is validation for you. Or it feels like somebody is making you see you. You're realizing how beautiful you really are type shit or something like that. I feel like you, it almost feels like you're coming from up under a spell, the overall energy says believing in lies and supporting untruths without investigating. Yeah, I feel like that's, I feel like you just, I feel like you connected to somebody, Scorpio, who keep, you know, gaslighting you, gas bomb, love bombing you. Like this is somebody who, but they make you feel as though y'all are exclusive or something like that. Um, Let's see. Let's see if we can get some more intel on this person. This is a player, though. This is somebody who, you know, they like one of them low-key players. They, they don't want to come out and say they're a pimp, but they really are <laughs> type shit. And I feel like these type, whatever type of man this is, you date, they only date women like you, Scorpio, like independent women, uh, women who got their shit together pretty much, but... They know all the women are looking for this. Most women are looking for that ring and that promise. So they try to use that against you is what I'm kind of getting with this person here. All right. Care if I waste this for a time. Four, four, four on the timer. Your friendship. Friend zone. Friendship before love. Building. Trust. Foundation. Yeah, I'm telling you this person wasting your time because they, they don't want it. They just want to have sex, Scorpio, whoever this is. And I feel like you know that. 
I feel like that's what you realizing. Like this person either want to be a friend or like this person really don't want nothing solid. They want to no strings attached. You look at the poker face. That's the part I don't like because I feel like this person kind of elusive. Like you know they 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 don't they don't say straight up. You know I, I'm not looking for a commitment. They just they go along with the connection, knowing that's what every woman want, right? Or most women, I put it like that. Dang, I ain't getting a chance to shuffle them. Yeah, mixed feelings. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, Scorpio. I feel like you're breaking, you're leaving this situation. I feel like you see that this person don't really, you're a third party. They don't really want a relationship. They like to play. All right, clarify. Um, They're playing poker and playing you. And you got poker face. Five, five, five on the timer. Yeah, this is somebody who's very immature. This is somebody who's, they're very stable though and logical. But they just, they know, they're like a master manipulator. This is a master manip manipulator you've met. I feel like this is somebody new is what I feel like. Yeah, secretly stalking. You could have been targeted by this person, Scorpio. Curious about you, not over you, checking your social media. Yeah, I feel like this is somebody who was just like, they was kind of pulled in by your energy. Yeah, spotlight. Yeah. This could be a cloud chaser, social climber. Okay, let's put it all down on the table, right? Because I feel like this person kind of knew. You could be somebody in the in the so in social media, like on TV or something, some type of podcast. I feel like this person is new. But I feel like they secretly knew things about you before they met you or whatever. Yeah, single is here. Mm, yeah, this person wishes to remain single, Scorpio. They just want to be in that spotlight with you for a while. This this somebody who's trying to just like, you know, they, they still on the market, in other words. They're dating other people as well is what I'm getting. It says looking and feeling good. People are admiring you, Scorpio. Yeah, dry spill. Cause I feel like yeah, it's like a. Remember I said something about it feels like a, like a um, a spell has been lifted. Yeah, so I feel like you went through a dry spell, and I feel like this is the first clown you meeting or something after the dry spell. But I feel like you just like <clears throat> something is. I feel like something about you, like your self love or what this, whatever this, whatever practices you put in place, and never like need validation from somebody or never be in a fucking toxic relationship with somebody who don't know where they're going, don't have a plan type shit. I feel like that's why you were under um this dry spell. Some of you some of y'all sisters celibate. Like just fucking period. I ain't finna I ain't fucking with it. Like what I'm gonna do that for? Like you you holding out and I love I love that because this a player. I feel like you holding out on his ass too. He just wanna no strings attached and that ain't who you are. Okay, this person don't have no type of action in love when it comes to you. Yeah, I feel like this person, I feel like too, this is like a career single person. Like this person been uh, single forever. Like they, that's what they want to be. You know, they just want to date variety of people. Yeah, cursed. I feel like curse is here because I feel like this is just a karmic cycle, Scorpio. I don't know whether it's for you or them, but I feel like too, like... I feel like this person, they've had like a string full of like bad relationships. Somebody could be sending them the evil fucking, I don't know why I just heard that. And um, you're pulling love's growth. Yeah, I feel like your love for self, something about when you were in this relationship, when you, when you did like this dark night of the soul, like almost like a reevaluation of yourself. There's just certain things you want to excel. And I feel like something brings you back to that. Something like you have some type of awakening about this person. You realize this person needs time to grow. Like they, they just not right now at this time though. It's like it that ain't it. I feel like this was just like an unexpected lesson in love, Scorpio. Nothing, nothing real heavy or nothing like that. But it's like I feel like I'm talking to Scorpios who've been single for a little while, or maybe you just not getting back out there. But I feel like don't lose your self worth. Like these same grimy ass people out there with the with the divine masculine too. You feel me? All right, let's clarify. Um, someone wants a no strings attached relationship. Yeah, angry is here. 
Yeah, I feel like this person is mad because you decided to move on or you decided that you, you know, had you known that this person was not was non-committal, you wouldn't even went forward with this connection. And I feel like too, Scorpio, this person, they, they try to come off as like, you know, well, we, you know, we just, I, I, I want to date for a little while or whatever this is. But you realize that this person, like you've been dating this person a minute, I'm getting. Yeah, and you the fucking gypsy, you know what time it is, Scorpio. It's like you reading this bitch mail. You understand he a player. This poker face shit ain't fooling you. Like, this person too, I feel like, I feel like they more intrigued with you, Scorpio, because you have like this unconventional lifestyle. Like you're, you know the unknowable. You're very exotic, very mysterious to this person. That's why they fucking bit in the first place. And love attraction is here. Yeah, because I feel like, I feel like this person... If they were going to awaken to love, they would awaken with you. But I feel like, you know, their heart space is just not open and yours is. I feel like, too, for some of y'all, this is a twin flame ascension for y'all. Like, y'all are just being pulled towards somebody else. That's just period. On the bottom of the deck, you got sacrifice in the reverse. Go check out that other Scorpio reading I did. A whole nother deck sacrifice came out in the reverse, bro. Scorpio not doing this shit with y'all no more. <laughs> That's just on fucking God. We is we not playing this fucking tiptoe game with nobody. We're not walking on fucking eggshells for nobody. We're not selling for a third party. Like, dude, this curse is broke. Whatever this curse is, this shit is done. Whatever this social climber thought he was going to do with you and your energy, this bitch is done. And they secretly stalking you and low-key in love with you. Let's see how this person really feels. I feel like you, some type of love activation happened with this person. They just don't know what to do with it. They still sitting there with this dumb ass poker face. They still sitting here with this, okay. 12, 12 on the timer, like I said, with these mixed ass feelings, being indecisive. Because I feel like this person, they keep, I keep hearing if I, if I wanted to be in a relationship, though, it would, a committed relationship, it would be with Scorpio. Bitch, that ain't enough. Let's see what's going on. What's the naked truth about this person? Somebody, I feel like this is new. Like, you've been knowing this person within a year, uh, like, anywhere from six months to two years. First energy, karmic partner interference. Yeah, it's like, y'all not on the same, y'all not on the same time. This person, they, they seeing other people. They like to sleep around. They're very promiscuous here. You're not with that bullshit. You ain't sleeping behind nobody. It says, I pretend like I don't care, but it's quite the opposite. My feelings for you are like a little bit obsessive. Yeah. And that's the energy what's going on with this person. But they, you know, they'd rather be a player. Okay. And they think you're going to just keep on. They think you're going to keep having this no string type energy with them. And you're not. The twin flame is in the reverse. So we know this ain't your person. And that's what's going on with you. You're just not. You're realizing like you 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 know your value, Scorpio, and in a situation, you're not allowing this person <clears throat> to take space in your life for what? Like, mm-mm. We ain't doing it. You ain't commit you you're not looking for if you want to be a career dater, then that's on you. That's not what I'm looking for. And I'm not gonna stay here just to have a fucking good time while you have an even better time. Nah. It says I have abandonment issues. I grew up in a single parent household. And I had a rough childhood. That may be true, but that's your problem. Like, that's that's what I'm saying. Like, Scorpio, you know your self-worth to the point where when people tell you shit like this, you're wondering why the fuck, if you know this is, you know, what's wrong with you, why the fuck you ain't fixed it? Because most crazy people don't know they're crazy. Most people that's fucked up, they don't know they really fucked up. And people try to tell them, Scorpio try to tell them, look, you, this ain't, this shit right here you doing ain't right. And, you know, they don't want to believe what you're saying, but this somebody who's saying, you know, I got abandonment issues. I know what's going on, but they still out here looking for something. They pain is still seeking um, promiscuity and pleasure and shit like that. On the bottom of the deck, this was a hard lesson I needed to learn. I was out of control. I'm telling you, I feel like you and this person don't go on, but I feel like something about your energy is making this person change. Um, you know, now that they know better, they got to do better. It's like you, it's almost like you holding them accountable, but you're not. It's just who you are holds people accountable now in your energy, Scorpio, just period. So 
It's like if you don't want to be exposed, if you don't feel want to feel naked or pure, whatever the fuck, don't come around Scorpio at this time. Because that self-love is looking good on Scorpio and, and we just, you know, we're able to see things from a different capacity and from a different view. Okay, just period. All right, clarify this karmic partner interference here. 15, 15 on the timer. Yeah, the Ten of Wands. Like for you, this you you consider this a burden, or you consider this is hard work, something that's going in the long run. This karmic, this person who undecisive, he know he got abandonment issues, but he, you know, instead of him doing something about it, he prefer to just sleep around with women and stay single, not be committed to anything. Okay, so this is somebody you definitely know in the future. This is gonna be somebody who fucking off. This somebody who you know you gonna have a lot of tower moments with. When it comes to stability and honoring you and shit like that, it's like you see you're seeing past the veil, Scorpio, and you're not wasting your time, nor are you wasting up anybody else's life or giving somebody a, a life where they can be comfortable in while you sit beside them and suffer in silence. Just like no. <laughs> it says I pretend like I don't care, but it's quite opposite. My feelings for you are a little bit obsessive. Yeah. See the Ace of Cups in reverse. I'm telling you, this somebody you just met. Uh, this somebody new. But it just ain't going the way. This this ain't what you wanted. This wasn't your idea of love. I feel like this person alluded to the fact of marriage or something like that. But I feel like, you know, this person, they, they're not interested in that. The chair this here, yeah. I feel like you have some, you got some type of victory coming in love, Scorpio. Just because, you know... It's the energy you're exuding now. It's like your self-love. You're not having to be validated. You feeling like you're enough now. You know, like, it's like you're not settling for bullshit. This Ace of Cups is in reverse because it's like an old play to you. It's like, that's the exact shit you don't want nothing to do with. You feel me? It's like... When it comes to love, it's just like you, you ain't going to pretend. You on the poker face shit and all that. It's like, nah. On this twin flames, you're pulling the knight of pentacles. I feel like, yeah, you you dealt with this person accordingly. Is what's going on. And I feel like this person, see, this somebody who don't know restrictions. They don't know boundaries. You know, they got this way about them where women, you know, flock to them, allow them to sleep around and all this type of shit. Um, but with you, it's different because you know yourself worth. It's like, I don't give a fuck what you do. You're just not going to do it with me. That's how, and I ain't going to be mad. I realize what time it is. Yeah, the three of wands in reverse. On this twin flames in reverse. This ain't going nowhere. <laughs> like, this somebody who wants you to stay behind with them and not, you know, seek your future. Like, all these opportunities. Yeah, look, the ace of pentacles flipped over. On this person saying they have abandonment issues. They grew up in a single parent household. See, to me, I feel like sometimes I feel like certain men that go through that type of upbringing, they're, they're domesticated. They want to be committed. They want to do the right thing by women. They saw what their mama went through struggling, trying to take, you know what I'm saying? So for this person to, and that's the energy I'm getting, like you evaluating shit, you're just saying like, why would I, why would I give this person my ace of pentacles? Why would I present, you know, and when I say ace of pentacles, I mean like, why would you attach your energy, your good ass energy that's prospering and flourishing with somebody who's trapped? With somebody who's a, a master manipulator, somebody who's running away from pain, somebody who don't want to heal. You're pulling the six of wands here? Yeah. I feel like this person is an attention getter, like, you know. This is somebody who wanna people please, and this is somebody who wanna. They they they're very much into appearances and you just not you just successful and good and unbothered and it's just like you know you you're not gonna take yourself down this road for nobody. Clarify I have abandonment issues and I would like people still want you to self sacrifice, Scorpio, and you're not gonna do it. The seven of cups, yeah, it's like you this person this person got all all these different options of how they could you know. Heal and grab a hold of their life and move on. 
Because they actually saw their mom go through this. And this somebody who's still confused. Yeah, the Knight of Wands. This somebody who still want to sleep around with people. This is somebody who wants to live in their pain. And they want you to like. Be, in the, be a co-pilot with this shit. And Scorpio, you like, no, the Nine of Pentacles. That's your, that's your energy. You're the Nine of Pentacles. You're beautiful. People are admiring you. You're very successful. You're getting all these breakthroughs, Scorpios, and these doors opening for you because of your energy. It's like, it's because of the fact that you're not allowing these type of people to co-mingle your energy with theirs where you where you fuck up and miss these opportunities, these blessings that are already yours. It's like, you're not doing it anymore. You're not self-sacrificing. Yeah, you got the Nine of Pentacles. You got the Emperor. I'm telling you, pre-Empress energy, period. As soon as you make room for it, look, the Ten of Pentacles, the Seven of Wands. Yeah, I just feel like when it comes to you, Scorpio family, is very important. And being in a solid relationship... It's like, that's just a cherry on top for you. Yeah, the two of pentacles on the bottom of the day. I feel like that's what's going to balance you out. That's what you, that's what makes you feel, you know, like you where you're supposed to be. That's what fulfills you family, that that one-on-one -on -one type shit. Like you, you about your family, you about your business. Like you tired of having to feel people out and shit. And I feel like that's what, this is like a secure relationship like you don't have a question this person second guess them or none of that shit like they what they supposed to be and so are you for them like period like a marriage supposed to be Here's some messages all right you're pulling angels spirit guidance protection from harm yeah you're being heavily protected scorpio trust me ego triumph over troubles and obstacles yep I told you, you you're, you're spreading your wings like an eagle. You're able to see shit from a different frequency, from a different dimension. You're able to see people for who they are. Yeah, you're pulling throne, position of authority. I can't make this up. Chain, chain of events that will affect your life. Yeah, I feel like in a good way, though. Ink spot, problems to be resolved. Mm -hmm. You're going to always have that. I feel like that's life life -ing. Skull, hidden secrets can harm you. Mm -hmm. And that's what I'm saying. That's why I feel like God is elevating you where the secrets are no secrets. Like you're in a place where, you know, people are honest. People want to be where they're at when it comes to you. There's no manipulation involved. You put pulling carrot, opportunity, or windfall. I'm telling you, I'm waiting to hear it. Because to y'all people who are cash having this money and believing for that miracle, it's coming. It has no choice. That's what God's words say. It's going to do. It's going to do it. When someone is trying to come between you and a friend or something you want, yeah, this connection. This connection, that's what they're trying to come against. Fox, shrewdness and resourcefulness, especially in business. Not unsuccessful plans. Casket, someone going out of your life or the end of a situation. Yeah, a lot of somebody's going over you out of your life, Scorpio, and you pulling bags. Something important, such as a new job or raise, is coming in. Yeah, you getting that bag. That's just what the fuck it is, and that's what it ain't. What's your angel number? 20, 20, 23, 23 on the timer. What's Scorpio angel number? Give me one. Damn, y'all, didn't I say 23, 23 on the timer? Come on, man. Y'all know this shit ain't. Come on now. Somebody cash out 23, 23. I don't even know what the cards say yet. Endless cycle. There's there's some truth you're resist, resistant to accept over and over again until you're tired and restrained beyond depression. It takes a decision to live life for yourself. Life is all about passion then you make a change and the world around you follows. I'm telling you, that's what this whole message was. 23, that's very significant for somebody. On the bottom of the deck, 1551, hold your vision. Focus on the good and maintain your concentration on the outcomes you desire. It's time to put your faith and time into your ideas and pursue your goals with all your might. You have such a beautiful, courageous, and brave spirit. Scorpio. I love you so, so much. We're going to get done. We go together real, real bad. See you in the next video.